Do you hear that? That's the sound of quietness. TV's off. Daughter's not in the living room. I got a new subscriber. Thank you, the Karma420. Inkle's a word? Holy cow. How is Inkle a word? Then I was ahead, she spelled hitless. What the f Anyways, this is what would Josh do. And this video is going to show you how to change the sprint name to anything you would like. It displays it right there. It displays it when you make a phone call. It displays it when you're on the lock screen. Oh yeah, and it displays it right here too. So if you want to add me on Words of Friends, my name is the same name I use on YouTube. And of course, Titania Backup's working on yet another language. I changed it back to Sprint. Yeah, it just says Sprint, that's all. Here's the original guide that I learned from. You need to get your MSL. All I did was temper using this guide. I downloaded an app called MSL Reader from the market and it gave me my MSL. So that's what I'm gonna recommend. But there's a guide here if you want to do it without root. You need to download the QPST. Enter in the little text here, 656, I guess I got it wrong. 72946, download. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop. My internet's of course going slow, and I'm about to put Ubuntu on a flash drive and see if I can root my phone using Ubuntu. I tried Puppy Linux, but I could not figure out how to run a command in terminal. I couldn't figure out how to run this file in Puppy Linux, so I don't know how to do it in Linux. On Windows, it's so easy, it's just double clicking on it. While I wish I could get away from Windows and just use Linux, I really like Puppy Linux. Alright, this finished. Close out, down the mall. And on the computer, you're simply gonna right click on it. And you extract to, well let's see if it's one of those ones where it's a bunch of files. Okay, this is different. This is a folder, so we need to actually just drag it out of the there into there. If it had all the files in there, I would just simply right click on this and click extract to. But then it would create a folder with another folder inside it, so it's pointless. Open up the folder. Double click setup. Just keep going through with next, next. Do home, next, next. Next, finish. The next thing we're gonna do, besides putting the phone in Diag, is to find the COM port. And for some reason, they don't have the drivers. So what I did is, if you go have a Windows 7 64-bit, follow these instructions. And I'm gonna download the drivers to desktop. Overwrite it. There's the drivers. Right click, extract to. See, they put a folder inside a folder. Take it. Don't right click it, just double click on it and drag the folder to your desktop. And now you got Windows 86 and Windows 64. So whether you have 32-bit like me or 64-bit, uh, computer, manage, I disable UAC. Okay, I put the phone in diag mode now. Pound, pound, D-I-A-G, pound. Now a lot of times it leaves this screen for some reason and you gotta do all that again. See, it did it. I gotta go back into it now. Pound, pound, D-I-A-G, pound. This is the screen you should see. And under computer management, you should see this little exclamation point. Right click update driver software, browse, and on your desktop you should see HTC Diag drivers. Click on Win X64 if you're using 64-bit computer, or click on Win X86 if you're using a 32-bit computer. And click OK. Then next. Successfully installed. Now to find the port, they say go to Properties, Advanced, and it says COM8. But why do you need to do all that when it simply says COM8 right here? COM8. If you're using Windows, all programs, QPST, and go to configuration. Ports, add new port. CM08. CM08. You would, of course, put whatever port yours says it was under and click OK. Since I installed the drivers, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone. Plug it back in. Try that again. CM08. CM08. Okay. See, I had trouble with this before. Unplug my phone. Plug it back in. Pound, pound. D I A G, pound. I think I've been goofing up, guys. C O M 8. C O M 8. Ha ha ha, I goofed. That was my bad. 
and you can go to service programming from here and you will see your phone right here if you do not see your phone right here you did not do this right and I did not see my phone at first I kept getting this right here this was the only thing I could check and I didn't know which one to check because my phone wasn't showing up right here but see com 8 okay read from phone you need your MSL display sprint I'm gonna change this to what would Josh do I don't know what this is it was always on I think at first and show time available auto hyphen and you write to phone you're gonna see an error it's always gonna happen you cannot change that and the phone automatically powered down so you're gonna lose your temp root it says phone no longer connected to com 8 duh there we go now it's rebooting and now you see your custom banner. What would Josh do? And you also see it on your lock screen. And now you can just click disable. Why do I say click? Push. Push disable. Touch disabled. Something. Now on the computer you can just close out the program. No. I don't know why that says yes or no, but I always click no. People ask me for the link and I'm like, okay. Intercept root. There it is at the top. Double click on it, and it's now my clipboard. Here is the intercept root. Send. All the links will be in the video, of course. This one gives you the follow instructions, and then this one that tells you how to do what I just did in this video. Yes, I highly recommend this phone to anybody. It's fast, it's awesome, and I love it. I have a total of 61 apps that I installed, plus all the crap that HTC puts on here that you cannot get rid of. I need a temper root real quick. Temper root is as easy as double clicking this and waiting a few seconds for all this to go through. Done. Now my phone's rooted. Titanium backup. Like 200 and something apps installed. And I still have 809 megabytes free. When I first got the phone, I had one gig. So I've installed almost 200 megabytes worth of apps. So I highly recommend this phone. Downloading apps like Angry Birds that requires like almost 20 megabytes, maybe more. This phone will not have a problem with it. Now I'm sorting it by largest app to give you an idea of how much is installed. This should give you a good idea. This is 49 megabytes for the HTC Fusion something Netflix that officially supported my EVA 3D, the Nexus S, and a whole lot of other phones the other day. Uses over 20 megabytes. Clock widgets, 26 megabytes. Yeah, all this stuff uses a whole lot of memory. But even though you have a whole lot installed, you still have a whole lot left. This is what would Josh do, and this is my video on how to change the banner on the EVA 3D to whatever you'd like. Your username, your first name, your last name, your nickname, whatever you'd like. I chose to go with my username that I use on YouTube, SDX, and every other site out there. Thank you for watching. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'll see you on my next video. I'm out.